Our top story tonight at 5, the Bristol County DA's office releasing final details of its investigation into the deadly police shooting of the former acting New Bedford Fire Chief. Thanks for joining us. I'm John DeLuca. And I'm Tiffany Murphy. That report paints a chaotic scene in the moment leading up to those officers opening fire. ABC6 News reporter Ryan Medeiros joins us in the newsroom tonight with details from that report. Ryan. John, Tiffany, the Bristol County District Attorney's Office determining police were justified in using lethal force in the killing of Paul Kader Jr., the former acting fire chief in New Bedford. Police were called to the Bayside Lounge in Fairhaven on the evening of December 29, 2023 for reports of an intoxicated man in the parking lot attempting to get in his car and drive. Officers arriving to find Kader, who engaged police in a standoff for about half an hour. The situation coming to a head as police attempted to use several less lethal weapons to apprehend Kader, who the DA says fired a gun, hitting an officer in the leg. Police then opening fire, shooting Kader five times. He was taken to an area hospital and pronounced dead. In a final report released today, the Bristol County DA's office determining officers made several attempts to peacefully de-escalate the situation. Officials adding the use of deadly force was reasonable due to the totality of the circumstances, including a serious risk to officers and the public. Authorities say dash and body cam video was used to confirm statements made by officers and witnesses. That footage has not yet been released. In the newsroom, I'm Ryan Medeiros, ABC6 News. Ryan, thank you.